Alto Grande, 100% Puerto Rican coffee, finally grinded in Puerto Rico for an amazing taste. Get yours today and see what Alto Grande can do for you. Ciao. Bacala. Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Be Creative be great um i hope you like my little um intro i got in there well just not not really the intro but a little intro i added there um if you didn't know i just i love coffee i love all types of coffee i i try all types of coffee and um, um i want to thank everybody for watching my my last video um i was actually promoting a a, a a brand of coffee called Bustelo, which is a, a popular brand. A lot of Puerto Ricans uh, uh, drink that coffee. Um, or the, the, the in the Latin community, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who, who uh, drink this Bustelo coffee. So after this video, actually, I got someone who, um, uh, after I posted that video, a couple of, I think maybe like a week later, I got a, a, a delivery and it was of uh, this coffee two two canisters of of this coffee called alto grande and i was like what is this and i saw it said 100 percent pure you know puerto rican coffee i was like oh my god i gotta try this this thing is probably gonna be amazing and guess what it was amazing it was amazing the coffee was like next level listen i'm sorry bustelo but you know bustelo is always you know gonna be there because i love that coffee but this coffee is next level um with that being said, you already know. This is Alto Grande now. It's it's awesome. If you don't know about it, go check them out. If you're a coffee uh, lover just like me, try it out. But with that being said, thank you everybody for, for joining again, for connecting. Uh, and for those who have been uh, viewing all this time. Thank you for the support. I got a cool topic that I want to speak about today and uh, um, has to do with, with winning. You are a winner. You will always win. And and this this concept just, just hit me uh, last night and I was like, that's it. This is an, an amazing uh, uh, topic to speak about and it's to all the creators those who are inspiring to, to to do something great to do something cool to to step outside the box uh, it's a concept is if you grab this concept you're gonna you're not gonna allow little things to to bring you down while you're being creative uh, but before we get into that let's get into this intro the real intro So this, this whole concept of, of winning, what is it? Why did I want to do, you know, this this topic? And I think it's it's important if, if you're a creator because it's it's something that sometimes we go through when we're being creative that we feel like it's not enough, it's not good enough, you know, we, we just messed up, it's a fail, right? But I don't believe in, in, in failing, I don't believe in, in losing. I believe in you will always win and if you're watching this and you're a creative person you like to do you know cool things you you you, you all your mind is always you know thinking about ideas that's a great thing you're already winning um, and the reason why you're winning is because when you feel that you failed or when you feel that you lost you actually didn't lose but you learn from it. 
I, I have a good friend of mine, Joseph SD. You know, if you don't know who he is, uh, look him up on, on Instagram, look him up on SoundCloud. He's amazing dude. Um, I love breaking bread with this dude because we, we always spark each other's creativity. And, and we, we touched on this topic before and it's about, you know, not, not you, you, you don't lose, but, but you learn, you know, we continuing, we, we, we continue to, to learn new things and and what may seem like a fail is actually a learning experience it just opened up a door for you to just learn from from a mistake to learn from from an error but that doesn't necessarily mean you have lost or you have failed so when you're being creative when when you're filming when you're doing music when when you feel like it's not it's not there it's not right or or you feel like damn you know what uh, it's 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 not going well. Um, it's it's not going to be good at all. You know, uh, let's just throw this away or whatever. You you don't want to do that. You just want to pause for a second, and say what what can I learn from this? How can I make it better now? How, how can I tweak what I did to potentially make it you know work for me? So I think as as creators, we we do certain things uh, at certain points, and we just delete files, we delete content that we've done because we don't feel it was good enough, or or people are gonna you know embrace it. But that's all good. You content is better than no content. You know I've learned that from 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 Peter McKinnon, from Casey Neistat, you know from all the, the their videos that that they that they've uh, done they usually you know let you know in some of their videos you know it's better to have more content than no content at all you never know when you're going to use those things but in that whole concept I, if you can grasp the the if, if you can grasp uh this simple 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 tip the simple fact that you will always win you will always win no matter what you're doing you will always win if you grab that concept you're gonna be able to to look at your mistakes as learning experiences you're gonna look at your errors as something where you can grow and this is not only for, for creators but but it's in, in in life which is an which is amazing because sometimes in life we we go through things and we feel like you know where you know i i should have done it i should have could have would have on all these types of things that that are gonna to be honest is gonna hinder you from moving forward sometimes but today i just want to let you know it's it's a small clip it's a small message but i believe is a powerful message and that if you embrace this message you're going to be able to to do what you do what you love to do and you're going to be able to just move forward with it and do greater things because you're going you're not going to allow the smaller things to to dictate what your content or what your 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 next step is going to be because you're just always going to be able to think to yourself i am a winner i will win because i cannot fail my failures my mistakes that i feel that they're failures are really learning experiences so i just want to share this with you today and i, I want to let you know that you can do it you would always win to put your mind and, and and into the things that that you're doing that you love and and just go at it you know give it a try try to you know do things that that you've never done before in the creative realm you know create something new and even though in the beginning it may not seem or, or it, it may not have what you envision still pursue it because you never know what can come out of it so thank you again for for watching thank you for uh, again for, for for joining me on another uh episode of be creative be great and if you haven't yet subscribed please do so hit the little bell so you can keep notified of all the the um uh all the videos I'm gonna be posting up again I post them every two weeks I try to be consistent so thank you again for all those following and if you know a creative person share this video with them give them some motivation let them know that whatever they're doing they can win at it even though they feel that mm, it's not there all right guys so I want to thank you so much again uh, I like it share it hit a little comment let me know what you think um if you got an, a topic uh that you would like to discuss hit me up let me know what 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 you guys want to talk about i'm just giving you some insight of, of who i am and of what be creative 
be great is about uh, technology and uh, fashion, all these things that, that, that incorporate being creative. So I just thank you again for watching and stay tuned for the next one later. Later.